The trainers got things started in just the 17th minute as the ball is advanced up the right flank. Ethan Taylor finds Nari Stephen and he hammers home into the left pocket and the turf erupts in celebration. But that was short-lived as nine minutes later the ball was headed upfield as the Ghanaians were looking to level things out. And that they did. A shake of the defence and Omari Glasgow picked up the pass, took aim and slotted home to make it one all into the half. And the guy is picked up where they left off were now 59 minutes in and the attempt to snatch the lead was being created. Initially cleared by the Trident's defence but not effectively so and Glasgow the man again turns it past the keeper. The men in green are up 2-1. And literally in the very next minute of play, this would happen. The defence is nowhere in sight. And the keeper comes off his line. Cardinal mistake. And Ozaze de Rosario volleys over his head. The Guinness put a third to bed. The Trident's know now. There's no coming back. There was almost a fourth goal here as the Guinness kept the pressure on. But kudos to keeper Jaira Malcolm for that save. But with persistence, the men from the land of many waters will achieve that four-goal scoreline. Two minutes into extra time, Enoch George sealed the deal. Guyana get the upper hand on the Tridents, winning this first leg at four goals to one. Anne-Marie Burke, CBC Sports.